Hello guys, Maddie Maddie back here again with another video, and this time I'm going to be giving my first impressions on this game. This game is Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr is the name of it, and it seems like a very interesting and cool looking action RPG in the Warhammer universe. I was hesitant to buy this game because it is in early access and it is around like $60 Canadian. But in the end, after thinking of it, I did give in because the game looked really cool. But it isn't early access, so this is going to be my first impressions. But almost like everything you might see in this video can not be in the game anymore, like a few months down the line. Or the game, I don't know if the game's very incomplete. I don't really know anything about this game at the moment. Except that it's an action RPG in the Warhammer universe. So let's go ahead and create our first character. Um... Looks like we have backgrounds. Looks like only two are currently available. Okay, and of the two, there's three kind of sub classes. Ooh, do I have to read through all of this? So I guess Psyker isn't available yet. So we have Crusader, which I'm assuming is going to be like a, a tank, probably like melee. Assassin looks like a damage, probably also just melee. Ah, uh, let me try going Assassin right now. I don't think I have to read all of this, it's just lore stuff. Maybe I'll read it later. Not for this video right now. So we have uh, three expertise. So we have Infiltrator. We have Sniper. Oh, okay, this is cool. This is like a ranged class. It changes your character and everything. Uh, we have Eradicator. Oh, it's basically the same character, but... Okay, so Sniper, I'm assuming, is going to be like Long Rage Eradicator. It's probably going to be like a short range. Traders gonna be melee. For Crusader, we have Juggernaut, Assault Gunner. Oh, that looks cool. Uh, heavy weapons. He has like a jetpack. Jeez. These all look super cool. I kind of want to go this heavy weapons class right here. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, heavy weapons here. Just name our character Smatty Matty, and let's hit play. Like, first of all, like, this main menu and the class selection is very cool. The graphics look very nice in this game. Looks like a very well-made game so far. This game now employs a crash report. Okay, so it's like beta testing stuff. This is a bit laggy, but wow, these graphics are cool. And these sounds, it makes different sounds for when you move on your character, move on all your different tiles different sounds we have a crafting dude here i guess it starts off in like uh this base no real uh like story or anything yet at least it might be a closed beta thing or not closed beta early access thing uh i don't know what that means so don't know what all these characters do i'm gonna mess with that stuff later i right now i just want to get into the game uh i'm assuming that's going to be the star map thing and if you look over here, it also has co-op multiplayer and PvP, so that's pretty cool. This character, inventory, skills, D, yeah, all of these look pretty cool. Let's go to our star map. I'm assuming this is what we go to to just start playing the game. This is a lot of stuff that I'm seeing. So we only have, like, one option here. What are these, like, quests? Like, these daily missions or something? Exterminate 250 chaos demons. You get 80 fate. Oh, well, we have like, a little chat going off on here. Uh, so let's go to the Tenebrae subsector. Uh, so this is the history of the area. Factions. Okay, so there's different factions. I don't know exactly what these are. I don't know what these systems are either. I don't know what any of this stuff means right now. Let's hit travel though. I'll be learning all that stuff later, I suppose. <clears throat> oh, even more maps. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming I don't want to go to the red numbers. I'm assuming high number means higher difficulty. Let's go to the 125 trainer box system right now. Are there even more planets? So wait, wait, if I hit travel, is it going to send me the even more planets to have to go to? 
Oh wow. I just went through three different sub menus to travel. Watch this planet right here. Watch there be like fucking cities and stuff in these planets and different regions. Oh, which one am I going through? I have I have no direction right now. Uh which one looks the best? This one has two skulls. That looks scary. This one has a skull with a crown on it. So I'm going to go to this one right here. All it has is this uh this button, this explosion. I don't even know what that is. Let's go to Cardian 2. Missions available, day. Okay, so I can do uh the Damon stuff I'm assuming here. <laughs> Type Death World. It's not scary at all. Mining World, Star Fort, Death World. <laughs> okay, I wonder how it got that name. Select mission, let's go. I'm gonna assume this is the last sub menu. There's another this isn't really a sub menu, I guess this is just explaining more of what I'm gonna be doing. Psychic and corporal decay emitted by mutated survivors of a viral purge as conjured servants of Nurgle. From the, I know nothing about the Warhammer universe. So I don't know what any of this means, but this game is looking really cool. I just wish I'd have some sort of direction or maybe like storyline to go with, but it is an early access. It does make sense for the, just to throw you in the game, see how you do. See what kind of tutorial they would have to make in the future. So this game did just come out, like, today's the 13th. came out on the end of August, so this game is currently, like, two weeks old, almost. Uh, by left-clicking anywhere on the ground, clicking on certain elements on the screen. Okay, so normal action RPG stuff. Beam myself in. Oh, look at that. So there is a little storyline. That is loud. I need to mess with the settings a little bit right now. Okay, accept. So, okay, so here are my abilities. I'm assuming health, shield, suppression resistance. I have a, this is like my potion, I guess. So I have left click, which is a single shot like that. It's not as loud as it was. And then my right click is knocks down, slows. Okay. I guess my one is just a bigger version of my auto attack. And then my two. Oh, I need ammo to use these. Okay. My two cause five rounds of ammo, and. Oh, I like that. That's kind of like my ultimate, I guess. Okay, so I hit R to reload. I have frag grenades, which is three. Okay, they have, like, charges? Okay. A uh, cyclone missile launcher. I feel like that's my actual ultimate. That is cool. Okay, so my mission right now is to, um, I have three allowed deaths. I have to destroy all warp gates. So let's walk up here, I suppose. Hold space to cover. Cover on what? Okay, I don't know why it's telling me that. Okay, I can put cover on here. Okay, this shotgun is not good for, uh... Yeah, that's not good for this range. Ha! Huh. There's still a grenade in there. Oh, that is sick. Look at that. This destructible environments, like they said in the video. So that grenade just threw everybody out. <laughs> this is cool. This is like first combat that I've ever had here in this game. It feels a lot different than like other action RPGs. It feels a lot more tactical, like you have to take cover and stuff. Throw grenades at these guys. That's my last grenade. Grenades are pretty dang strong. Is this a chest? Can I break this open or something? No, I thought that was like a, a chest. Okay, so I have to find these uh, warp gates. So let's keep looking for these. I'm out of grenades, so I have to do combat. The 
good old way. These things die pretty quickly. I'll be running into some tougher enemies soon though. It's just my ultimate here. Right click that guy. Like knocks them back and knocks them down a little bit. That's cool. Let's go this way. These graphics are really, really, really nice. I wonder if I'm gonna unlock more skills later down the line. Or what kind of progression there is in this game in general. Looks like this guy's a, a stronger enemy. Oh, is that what your resistance is? I think. Here, I'll talk about it after this. Oh no, he just has a second life bar for some reason. Come on, dude. This guy is tanky. There we go. Got a second life bar down. See, I thought it was just a resistance thing that I saw earlier. My health is going pretty low. I don't know, is it zero to use my potion? I don't know what hockey that's on. So I'll just click on it for now. Switch weapon. Oh, I have another weapon. Oh, I use this for long ranges. I see. And instead of ammo, it has heat. Stop firing overheated. Okay. So, uh, this that's just more damage, critical strike, single target, and then hot shot. Oh, hot shot is channeled. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm going to use this laser weapon for the next fight. Enemies didn't drop anything, did they? I don't think I'll be getting any drops yet. It's my first mission. Let's keep going in here. Let's use my channeled ability. This is cool. Supply. Is this a chest? Oh, I got two supplies. Okay. Storage box. Oh, I got a weapon? I got some stuff. I, I hit I. Maybe I like can't really use that stuff until I get back to base. Let's keep going. I'm getting grenades back. I don't know how. That's weird. But the grenades are pretty freaking powerful, though. Okay, this looks like there's a lot of enemies here. I just used my alt. Probably didn't use it in a good way there. These guys seem to regen their health pretty quickly. I'm liking this laser pistol or rifle. It's a lot better for uh, longer range combat. Let me switch to the shotgun right now though. I'm gonna be uh, going in close range right now. Let's throw a grenade at these guys. Boom! Oh, the whole place just fucking crumbles down. That animation looks like it does need a little bit of work or maybe it's just the fact that I'm lagging so bad at everything that's going on here okay I am dying I need to play this more smart that's what happens when there's so many things on the screen oh are they coming out of the thing down here is it like a portal warp gate oh this is what I'm supposed to destroy Got it. Okay, so I got two more warp gates to bring down. Medical supply? Okay, the legs seem to stop. I guess that, uh, inoculator refill. Cool. There's some more enemies. Whoa. I don't know why they're regening life that fast. 
I don't know if they're supposed to be doing that or if that's like a thing that their uh, type of monster does. This dude is a champion. There he is down now. Drop something. I guess I picked it up already. <laughs> container? Oh, okay. I see what a container is now. There's another warp gate. I don't want to use my ultimate on it, but it looks like I don't need to. Cool. It's my ultimate over there, though. Yeah, this this like channeled laser doesn't do too much if they're gonna regen that fast. Oh, this turret's activated. Uh oh. I need to run. I'm out of. No, I just used my inoculator there. Okay, cool. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be tough. Switch over to the shotgun. Cool, he dropped something. Okay, off to the last work gate. Hold space to cover. Cause these guys don't see me yet. No, I didn't want to do that. Go back here. No, 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 don't cover there. Yeah, cover right here. Okay, I'm sick of this. This isn't working out too well. Just gonna go in guns blazing. So I am a heavy weapons guy. Mission complete. I am ready to leave, yes. I can just leave in the middle of combat. Well, that was fun. There was a few problems with uh, like performance and stuff, but other than that, that was a lot of fun. I liked that. So now, okay, this is where I get my rewards. So, rare laser gun. Okay, that, that deals much more damage. Okay, so your skills seem to come out of your what which weapons you use. So anything like with lasers will get that set of skills. But if there's a way to get the other skills, I don't know what the progression would be like in this game. Uh so all these weapons. Oh, they have different amount of overheats and ammos too. That's cool. And then I have the Signum. Which I guess is just uh offset of gear. What's this? This is like a loot box. Oh. Mastercrafted. No reward. Mastercrafted and oh you need new inoculators? There's an auto gun. I don't have an auto gun just yet. Okay. So duration twelve minutes, probably a bit too long. So complete. Oh, I'm back in base. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, I want to equip my new weapons. So we equip this new laser gun. So we have a neural implant, eye implant, main implant, purity seal, frame grenade, demolition armor, inoculator, shotgun, signum, signum, shotgun. Oh, do I have two shotguns? Oh, here we go. Las gun. Put that there. I guess there's spots for signums here too. Okay, so I'm assuming the signum would only would only get the stats of that while uh, I have that weapon equipped. Then that's cool. Oh, so this does 58 damage with 30 overheat. Okay, so these pistols aren't as good. Shotguns at 48 with 8 ammo. So these shotguns would be better. Do I want to try to use an auto gun? Just no, I'll keep using shotguns. I'll just keep using them. 
Oh, I just want to see what these NPCs here do. So we have crafting. That seems pretty self-explanatory. Can salvage items. Okay, so it tells you what materials you'll get out of them. So salvage that got fragments and blessed alloys. That's cool. And all these materials from all these weapons I don't need. Then you go to crafting. Oh, it's like a uh, powder and crafting. That's pretty cool. Random enhancement. Uh, you, appearance and modify don't seem to be working yet. Maybe that's not implemented just yet. Oh, here's a tech tree. This must be the progression system. Or the crafting progression system, at least. And then fusion. Just apparently fusing items together to make them more powerful, I'm assuming. Oh, Regna Van Winter. She's just a trader? Okay, resets. She's just a vendor then. And then this guy. Inoculator. Guess this is, uh. Putting mods in your inoculator. So currently, I have 10% of max HP a second. 50% max suppression resist. Okay, you can get. Boost all damage. Crit okay. Then we have a storage here. And is that all? Anything down here maybe? Nope. Placeholder story mission. Okay. So yeah, it looks like there's a lot in this game not added in yet, but I had a lot of fun in that first mission. There's even co-op and multiplayer. I'm assuming these are in now. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> this game looks like a lot of fun. I, I'm going to play it a lot more and I'm uh, very excited to try out the other classes and see this game get updated a lot because it looks like it has a lot of potential. Like it's very well made. It has a lot of cool mechanics. Uh, so yeah, this game looks very cool. Thank you guys for watching.